Thank <laughs> you. 
and now it's been built up to a team where every department is essentially completely in-house will use you know a paid search agency and you know all of these different things that are third party but everything the whole team is in-house so you were doing this so were you on the phone with factories when you were at university or like what, what did that look like <laughs> yeah no so it's a very good question so this is why i would so say for shreddy when we did our first ever physical product which were resistance bands at the time this would be partnering with amazing people who know far better than me in terms of like suppliers we'd be like oh we should make this product and that kind of partnership was essentially like they would be able to go okay in the same way as if you hired a head of a head of production for example or a head of merchandising they'd go out and like find the stuff you get the product you you know your buyer would look at it yep. and you'd like work it out and so they were doing all of that i had a lot of conversations with a lot of factories for a lot of different products so for i did notebooks at one stage did with tala to, I cannot tell you how many different people we spoke to and it so kind of depends on the product, depends on the time. Okay, L let's say someone listening to this decides that they also want to start an active wear brand. Right, like, yes. What are, what are the steps involved in figuring this out? How much of a faff is it? Is it like, how easy is it to get a business like this off the ground if you were doing it today? It is a huge faff. Right. <laughs> an enormous faff. You also have to have money to put into it. It's definitely not like, uh, it was very different with the, you know, the PDFs, for example, where 
they you didn't need a lot of there weren't a lot of like sunk costs or marginal mm. costs to be making the product so you were able to kind of make the money essentially straight up and then put that into things like we did with the app say for clothing obviously you need to be able to put the even just buying the stock but even before then paying for samples like sometimes it depends if you have no like credit history or your business doesn't have any credit history usually say you pay for stock it will completely depend on your payment terms but some of them you'll have to pay 50 percent up front and then 50 percent 30 days after it's exited the factory or something okay. it completely depends but actually when you're at the beginning of your journey if you don't have a lot to prove you'll probably be able to do that the way most people start will be then either if they have cash of their own or you know getting a loan or whatever it might be there are loads of trade shows you can go to in terms of finding the right fabrics in terms of finding the fits and all of this i had an absolute baps in the fire because i thought things like okay you think that making a t-shirt is going to be pretty yeah. self-explanatory right? Right? <laughs> yeah like just like i'll make a t-shirt there was this for our first collection i really just wanted like an oversized black t-shirt as yeah. part of the collection but i wanted like some detailing on it the Cybex Serona S is a state-of-the-art German engineered car seat with 360 degree rotation. It can rotate with a simple movement, allowing parents to easily get the child in and out. Serona S by Cybex. Yo, 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 yo! My taste runs to the elite. My cousin Yusuf here keeps a list of all the cars he wants. Now it's my job to look into how we can get them. If something goes wrong, we we'll always blame him. We ended up having to scrap no, we had the t-shirt for, I think it was like the second launch, or the first restock, the second launch. This t-shirt, every time it would come from the factory, it would like, this one time it came and like the whole body was tight and then the arms were like this like oversized t-shirt, like enormous.